everybody and welcome to this video. I'm supposed to be in Jeju right now, but my sponsored yoga trip got cancelled last minute. So I had to cancel all my flights and just everything. And my vlogging schedule is all messed up. And as a person who lives by schedule and I plan everything out, I'm like kind of at a loss of what to do. <sighs> so I think I'm just gonna check out some cafes that I've been wanting to check out for a while now. And I posted a Q&A on my Instagram yesterday. So I'll just be answering questions throughout the day as well. And yeah, I think that will be the alternative for the cancel Jeju trip. Just arrived at the cafe. This place is a Hano cafe in Hongdae. It's pretty new. This cafe has three stories. This cafe got really popular because I think it's probably one of the only Hano cafes in the Hongdae area. So, and it's just really beautiful as well. So, okay, I'm gonna grab a seat and get some coffee and dessert. This has been pretty trending in Korea, so I want to try what it tastes like. And I got the apple soda. And this is my view. This is the main road. You can see that like all the stores, they're like all gone. I guess business wasn't working out for them. So the sun is about to set. I was gonna answer your questions at the cafes. So it can be kind of like a, you know, a cafe date between you guys and me. But the music was so loud in the cafes that I just couldn't talk. So here I am at the Han River. You guys sent in a lot of questions. So I'm gonna try to answer some of them. Do you plan out the content for your videos before or just film them as your day goes by? So I usually plan out every video but 80 to 90% of the time, it doesn't happen the way that I intended it to. So I just kind of go with the flow, like today. I planned out an entire vlog for today, but it just didn't happen. Tips on filming in public. Um, 
just do it. I honestly kind of get embarrassed and awkward as well, but I mean, you just, just gotta do it. <laughs> the reason you want to be a YouTuber and why did you choose the topic, cafe hopping? This is actually, um, this is kind of like a backstory of how my cafe hopping series kind of got started. The first cafe hopping video I filmed, it was how much I spend cafe hopping in Seoul. And that video actually hit over 100k views pretty recently. So thank you guys so much for all the love. But it's funny because that day I was filming, I actually had a horrible day. Okay, not like horrible, but I just wasn't having the best day. And cafe hopping, it's a lot of... I don't know, it's a lot of work to be honest. I have to go to a lot of cafes. I have to pay and eat all the dessert and stuff just by myself. And that day was a very gloomy and dreary day, I remember. And I just, I had a stomach ache as well. And so after that day, I told myself I would never film another cafe hopping vlog again but it just did really well and um, the video turned out a lot better than I thought it would when I edited it so I just kind of kept it up and that's how the series started so you just never really know like what videos would do well place country where you want to live for at least six months or a year I would love to live in Europe or Australia I think I would just thrive there <laughs> Ever thought of quitting your 9 to 5 job and go full time YouTube? All the time. I think about it all the time. I'll just kind of wait for my channel to grow a little bit more until I make that really big decision. What is your nationality? I am ethnically Korean. So my parents are both Korean, but I am a US citizen. So I lived in the States for over 18 years. Ultimate dream in life. My dream, like my just life goal in general, this has been my goal since like forever. I just want to have a happy family. I just want to have like a husband who's like my best friend. I want to have like four kids. I want to have a dog, like a nice house and just live a happy life with my family. Any advice or tips to people who's planning to start vlogging? I would say the biggest step for me in starting to vlog was to buy my camera. And if you don't have the budget to buy a camera, I would just recommend using your phone. Like if you have an iPhone, iPhone has great quality. I film on this all the time as well too. And I think if you are investing your own money into like a camera, I think it'll just give you the motivation to actually use it and vlog. Why do you have two phones? I actually get asked this all the time. I love to just joke around with people and just mess with them saying like, oh, it's because I have two boyfriends or one is for voice fishing. And people actually believe me, which is kind of wild too. I have two phones. This is my work phone and this is my personal phone. One time I was on the Korean subway. This, I think Korean American guy was with his Caucasian girlfriend and they were right next to me on the subway and like I'm always just on my two phones and this guy is like telling this girl in English look at that lady with two phones she's probably a drug dealer and then they just kept talking about me in English and I was like wow I've never had this happened to me where somebody thinks that I don't understand that language and they're talking about me I wish I said something but I just got off I should have just been like by the way <laughs> I'm American or I should have said like do you want to buy some drugs <laughs> but I didn't and I kind of regret it. I should have said something. Can you do an apartment tour soon? I feel like you guys already know what my place looks like because it's just so tiny. But um, yeah, let me know if you want like an updated room tour. It is the smallest but most expensive office tile I've lived in so far. But it's clean and I love the view so that's why I decided to renew my contract for another year. What is your height? I am 5'4". In centimeters, I'm 163.5. How do you manage to keep a sense of personal life while sharing a lot during the vlogs? I actually feel like I don't share a lot during my vlogs and I feel like I don't talk as much. And keep in mind, I literally only share about like 10 to 15 minutes of my life to you guys per week. So there's a lot that I don't show. I am having this Q&A because I want to connect with you guys more and just kind of show you guys who I am. Do you have a background in ballet or gymnastics? I did used to do ballet when I was like a baby. I actually have a cousin who is in a K-pop girl group. Her mom, so my aunt, so my mom's older sister, she owns a dance studio. So I've learned ballet, jazz, hip-hop since I was like little, but I am a terrible dancer. I did do ballet, but I don't think that's why I'm flexible. I did yoga since high school and all throughout college and I actually wanted to be like a yoga instructor. I think I'm flexible because of yoga. Okay, I'm gonna go back home now. 
there was actually um, like a group of foreigners sitting at the bench right next to me so they could like understand and they could hear everything I'm saying so I felt really awkward but I like tried to like not be phased by it but uh, yeah so I just kind of feel awkward so I'm just gonna go home now So I ate sushi by myself for dinner and I came home and I passed out for like an hour and a half because I was so exhausted um, and now I'm here to finish some Q&A questions Okay, we had a lot of questions about hair care um, since I bleached my hair How do you keep your bleached hair so healthy? What is your hair routine? Um, actually, let me just show you the products that I use <laughs> So I've been using these three products, shampoo. I went to several different salons to get my hair done and they all said that I need to get new shampoo, I need to use treatment, and I need to get protein. It's really crazy because Medicube reached out to me at like the perfect timing when I started changing up my hair. So I've been using these products since like August, September-ish. Honestly, I think this is like saving my hair. This shampoo smells so amazing. I really like it. My hair gets greasy within like a day, so I have to wash it. Pretty much every day and i've also been using this treatment religiously it's kind of like a um liquid but it's cool because once it touches your hair it turns into this like creamy texture treatment is so important in your hair care routine prior to using these products i would actually just use argan oil treatment hair packs instead of using conditioner this is my favorite product out of the three it's the soy protein leave-in treatment i used quite a lot i'm trying to control myself and not using a lot they say only to use like three or four sprays but i like just like spray all over my hair <laughs> i didn't know but protein is really important to incorporate into your hair care routine especially if you have like really damaged hair after you take a shower i would slightly blow dry it a little bit and then i would put it on slightly damp hair i would just like spray it and i think this is the reason why my hair is like shiny and it looks healthy because it just adds a lot of nutrients to my hair are you planning to cut your hair no <laughs> i refuse to cut my hair i haven't cut my hair in such a long time a lot of you guys ask me um how i have my hair so long so i just i just don't cut it <laughs> i don't know i just i've never had short hair the shortest was probably like my shoulder length in college and i absolutely hated it so i just i never cut my hair and I don't plan on cutting it. <laughs> okay, the most frequently asked question every time I upload a Q&A is, are you in a relationship? I recently had a very, very bad breakup, and if I could just summarize that two-year relationship in just two words, I would say gaslighting and narcissism. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, but I'm opening up about it because those two words, I wish I had known about it earlier. So if you don't know about it, I encourage you to look it up and see what it is. And I hope it helps you in some way. What's your biggest fear? I am like the biggest scaredy cat. Like I cannot watch any scary movies. I cannot watch like a hint of gore or violence. Biggest fear. I mean, I have a lot of fears, but... I think one is like, I'm kind of afraid of the water. I always imagine myself like in the water, in like the ocean, like in a boat or just, I'm just like swimming and something like really big and dark just like go, like is like swimming under me. That just creeps me out so much and it scares me and I just, I never ever want to experience it. I had a really bad panda phobia back in like high school, college. I'm not going to get into it, but they really scared me, so. If you were a cartoon character, what outfit would you wear for every episode? Oh, that's a really cute question. Um, if I were a cartoon character, hmm. I think I would want to be like, like a little ball. If you ever watched the Disney movie Soul, they have these like little characters. They're just these like little like balls with like a little body there would be no outfit i'd just be naked you know i'd just be like a naked ball you don't need clothes if you're a ball right maybe maybe i'll have like 
a ribbon just to like switch it up still gotta be fashionable even though i'm a cartoon ball right and i would have superpowers obviously like i would be flying and i would be like teleporting and i can like change shapes so i won't be just like a ball and i'd be like pastel color sometimes and yeah it's a, it's a cute question do you have a long-term plan for staying in korea or are you going back to the u.s I love living in Korea. I think it is so comfortable and I've traveled to many countries and honestly I think Korea is just so comfortable and it's just so fun to be in. So I think like short term definitely I will be in Korea but honestly I think it depends on who I marry and you know wherever that person's from i don't mind i honestly don't mind living anywhere in the world i can definitely adapt well to any environment do you ever feel insecure and how do you deal with it um yes i feel like everybody has insecurities i think for me this past year as i am putting myself out there on the internet on youtube and instagram i get like 90 percent really kind and good comments there are some negative comments out there and let me just say skinny shaming is a thing i'll get some like really rude comments saying like dang girl like you look so anorexic you should eat more i'm just like uh <laughs> like i love wearing tank tops i love wearing shorts as i kept getting these comments about my body it made me feel like oh like am i that skinny i mean yeah i'm not gonna lie it does affect me and so so this past year, I started just buying like a lot of baggy clothes. Like I just started to like cover up my body because I just felt insecure about how I looked, which is a big reason why I did start working out. But honestly, my number one reason for starting to work out is because of health. I know and I realize that I am underweight. So I am trying to get to a healthier lifestyle and a healthier weight. What is your corporate job and what did you study in university? I currently work in the IT industry in marketing and business development and I studied music at the University of Virginia. How do you balance everything in your life? Like work plus YouTube on side plus having a great social life. I just lose sleep over everything. There are just not enough hours in the day for me to do everything that I need to and want to do. So. I would definitely sacrifice my social life in order to work more. Sometimes I would stay up until like 4 or 5 a.m. just editing a video and I would get up at like 9.30 the next day, start my corporate job and yeah, I would just sacrifice sleep. Okay, I think that's it for now. I'm really tired. <laughs> I need to shower and then I need to just get ready for the weekend. So I don't know if I'll be vlogging this weekend, but we'll see thanks for tuning in to this q a session um there's still like a lot of other questions that i haven't answered but maybe i'll get to it over the weekend if not maybe in another video